we are not disturbed at all. When you tell people about this thing, you tell them about this thing. People say, what is this? Like, what, what do you, were you able to see Christ? No. People, the, what, what I saw is that people, they say, we can't see where is the city, where are those tall buildings. When I looked, it was just a cloud and then clouds were just dropping down. Mm. Inside the, the cloud. Was me who said, No, it's the Lord, the Lord has come. Mm-hmm. I must stay because you, you myself automatically was... connect. Yes, more is to come. This is just the beginning. Mm-hmm. I know Jesus is coming back, but this is just the beginning of what is coming. It's just small. You we'll open up until everything becomes to you. Amen. And God is able to do something very good. Amen. In the name of Jesus.
Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. something and that stupid lady there that girl Evelyn said no it is not yours is this one and the boy when he looked at Evelyn Your husband the, joy, like mm -hmm. the joy in his heart it's true man of God Pastor Evelyn gave him the bracelet he's wearing when he was at yes you look, look at this stupid lady this stupid girl. Eh? I brought everything for this boy to go there for celebration in 2015 December. So you don't want them to go to school? And this stupid yes. girl said, no, there is someone as well here in South Africa. And the boy said, who could that be? Who could that be who can be like eh, that boy, Gino Tope? And the one who brought him to church yeah. Edwin. But the boy, oh. the boy, said, okay, okay, let's go. Immediately, immediately, immediately when he looked at you, just say, yes, this is a servant of God. This is a servant of God. And that worry of him going there, just finish, just like that. But yes, <laughs> I come again to him to doubt you to doubt you and it was working until this boy on his own without even instructed by his master said no no so he was that doubting. man there is a true yeah he started god. criticizing he's like a true man of god <laughs> yeah. yes he said yes he's a true man of god and your master directed him again to come here and since then he doesn't care. He doesn't care about money. When you say, hey, hey, supporting this stupid thing. We want to support this stupid thing. You will see this stupid thing going forward there. He doesn't care. He doesn't want the work. He just want. Oh, what so you didn't want to do not to come in. He said the blessing that his master has given him is enough. Because you said, yes, that children were coming. To this boy, it is enough. You talk about money, he doesn't care. He doesn't want it. He doesn't want money. This one, I don't know. I don't, I haven't met a person like this. This is stupid, stupid, stupid. Doesn't love money. Doesn't love anything. Who are stupid. you? Mention your name. Because you mentioned my name, sir. You didn't mention you. My Who can say one. this? Who can speak like this? Really? Who can speak like this? 
And this one, this, 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 it even tell people, no, the voices are the same. But listen, look at the principles at the end. At the end, you must analyze the statement at the end. Because even myself, even myself, I don't make noise. Those are the things that works for me that made no excuse. Hey, hey, myself. Mm. If they see me, they will be shocked. Well, they will be shocked. But you, hey, in whatever form I come, you know it. I don't know. So sometimes you despise. You know, Jerry. I don't I'm know you. I'm just saying, when I am discussing myself, you know. That I, is me. I know you. Yes. But these others, hey, hey, if they know, so <coughs> now, in fact, if the world know, know that here, here, here in South Africa, there's this thing called Bangalore and Bangalore. Uh, here in South Africa, the world, but they think that, oh, you are, uh, you, you just have a problem like if there's no any other person. No, they don't, they don't, hey, oh, these people, they look at you. Hey, they look at you, at you, at you. Even this one from you. Look at you. Yeah. Look at the skin. Oh, look at how ah, just look. Ah, Africa. What is it? But they don't know. They don't know. Mm. Why should they know? Because even your master, they didn't even know him. Mm. They preach, they preach, but he's here. Looking at them. Looking at them. Doubting, wanting to test. Oh my god. Did you hear what I said? Because I was from there, I said, oh my God. No, oh, you're still calling you God. <laughs> yes, I know. I've been judged. One less left from me. I've been judged. And people, even this stupid thing, knows that yes, I've been judged. Not like, like what you do here on earth when you go to court. <laughs> it started with me. Uh, leave, leave this man. <laughs> I count three, one. I two, three. Hey, what is happening? Did you? Yeah? Hey, I just heard a voice, but I didn't have any what control is that? of anything. Yeah? I had the, the things speaking through me, but I don't have any control of it. Oh, this man is free today. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me I'm okay. You're okay? Yes. Lift, sure. sometimes. Lift them up because they, they feel them somehow. Sometimes. Yes, but no, now I'm okay now. Because there's some, sometimes I feel like I'm, there are pains. And sometimes the pain just started from there and then it will yes, hit me. It comes here. Yes. Wow. No, when did you get this bracelet? Please. The bracelet, I, I got it. Please. In 2016 in school. And then. It was Pastor Evelyn. Who uh, came to me. Listen to this. Uh, you are people of worship. Don't think the grace has left the school. We still have the woman of God there. If you want to go there, you need to travel and go there. You'll be ministered and blessed. And we can see what happened to this man. We know. We know what God gave to the prophet. We know what God gave to his life. So, if you want to go there, this grace is still the same. God bless you. God bless you. You are free. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, my name is Robert Munjezi. I'm from Pretoria North Orchards. Um, I came here in a Charis Missionary Church one-on-one uh, -on -one to see uh, Apostle and Prophet Andres. Uh, yesterday, uh, Prophet Andres, I had an opportunity uh, to sit down with Prophet Andres and then uh, he told me and my wife that uh, my people they don't want uh, the pregnancy of my wife. And then he then uh, prayed uh, for us. So today, once again, I had an opportunity uh, to meet with the Apostle uh, J.B. Makanunisa. 
uh, after church. And then uh, my encounter right in there, uh, he started telling me that yes, uh, I have an attack. And I confirmed the attack when he said, when he pointed at my at my feet and I say yes this happened all, almost every day when I come back from work when I enter uh, my house and then he talks about the affliction as well to my wife and I said yes it's true uh, as he went as he prayed for me he said to me uh, I must just point at my right uh, 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 thigh immediately when I pointed there uh, something started to speak uh, through me, which I didn't have any uh, control of. I hate everything, but to stop it, I couldn't. Uh, that's what I can say. And now I'm free because uh, Apostle has prayed for me and my family is free. Thank you, Lord. During the, by the time when the Spirit was manifesting through you, um, we heard the Spirit complaining that um, you don't care about the money you always give and you love apostle and prophet and Reese and the spirit they are doing all by means to stop you to continue to support the ministry can you take us through about that uh, I can say it is true though we know very well that uh, you cannot live without money but I don't love it I, I love to share but when it comes to the ministry, this is where I got my deliverance. So I wanted to take the gospel forward, not uh, on my own, because even the money that I'm pledging to support the ministry, it cannot do uh, 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 much than what the apostle has done with this ministry. But I felt in my heart that I have to take this forward. Other people, they must receive the blessing that myself I've, I've received as well. It must not only stay with me. Thank you. We also heard during the manifestation through the Spirit um, also complaining about the faith bracelet in your hand um, that you got it in scorn um, that it's got an impact in your life. Can you also share how it's helping you, your Christian life? Uh, thank you so much. Yes, I have a faith bracelet that I received in scorn in 2016. And then uh, with this one, it was the uh, pastor Evelyn Joshua who gave it to me to say I was picking up another one, but she said no, that one is not yours. Yours is this one. So I pick it up, and then yes, it helps me to meditate every time when I do Bible study, and then I meditate on the Word of God. It helps me a lot. Okay. What can you encourage or advise other people um, that they also want to come and see the apostle for one on one? What can you tell them about the importance of a one-on-one -on -one with Apostle? The only thing that I can tell them is that if you have an encounter with God, please come to this place, to Charis Missionary Church. You will encounter your God who created you. God is alive through the Apostle of God, J.B. Makananisa. Thank you.